Gray, look who it is. Renee Jackson. I'm an attorney. And you are? Billy. Billy Rubens. What do you want? I think I can help, Billy. Yeah, well, thanks to you, I got an extra knee in my back. Because I looked up at you, they hit me with resisting arrest. I was only trying to protect you. Yeah, well, if you want to help, get me out of here. Why'd they pull you over? Do you even have to ask? I didn't do anything except be black. Do you have any family, anyone aware of the situation? They're in Montgomery. I'm at UAB. What's your major? Political science. I don't do drugs. I'm in a work-study program to help pay for school. Yes, my license is valid, I have no tickets, and I didn't run a red light. Guess I just fit a description, you know what I mean? Yes, I do. And I think I can help. Like I said, you want to help? I'll go to the court appearance with you. It would be good if you See, had... what was that all about? Three hours at the mercy of the system. Three hours. Three hours of my life wasted. What for? No charges, no explanation, no apology. That's why you should file a complaint. Listen, Billy, what happened to you has got to stop, and the only way to stop that is with action. As a poli sign major, you should know that. What do you want from me? My firm will represent you pro bono if you proceed with charges against the police department. I'd have to say, you don't look like an ambulance chaser. Thank you, I'm not. Then why do you care? Let's just say I don't like the taste of asphalt either. Where do we start? First, we file a complaint. Stop complaining and hurry, man. We don't have all day. You're dressed like a boy. I wasn't going to dress like a nun. Now, listen up. We're gathered here today as white Muslims to fight for freedom. Mary Elizabeth, what in the world are you talking about? Well, Brother Ali Shabazad has taught us white people to teach other white people to be good and brotherly to all colors of people. Do we have to wear these stupid suits? They're not stupid, Brother Tally. When we talk to people, it shows that we're respectable. You have to talk to people? Strangers? Mary Elizabeth, does your mom and dad know about this? They will. Listen, Brother Bobby, white people must hear our message. I don't want to talk. I thought we were going to fight. We are going to fight, Brother Tully. And stop calling me Brother Tully. I'd kill myself if I had to be related to you. Well, Tully, maybe if you just be quiet for a minute and stop interrupting me. And you don't tell me what to do, and neither does she. This whole thing is stupid. You're the one who's stupid, and you're suspended. I'm suspending you from white Muslims. Foul! Come on, Bobby! Tully! Tully! But... Oh, you failed, Brother Collier. Where did I go wrong? I can't eat this. What's the matter? You not feeling well? This whole meal is contaminated, Ma. I can't eat it. Elston, don't try me this evening. With all due respect, this is devil meat pork, and the greens will cook with ham hocks. The gravy on the mashed potatoes has pork in it, too, Elston. Now, since when have you been against pork? You ate plenty of bacon yesterday morning. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Sarah. Elston thinks he's a black Muslim now. I've chosen the name Abdul. What? <laughs> Not in my house. What's wrong with being a Muslim? You taught us to respect all This people. is a Christian household. Anybody who follows a hate-filled minister is not welcomed here. You're right, Father. If I can't abide by your rules, then I shouldn't live in your house. Excuse me. Elston! Nakisha! Clear my schedule. We gotta do some research. I need to know everything there is about racial profiling. Why? Because we're filing a lawsuit. Billy's complaint has been dismissed, as expected. Are you serious? As a heart attack. What's the matter? You wanted to file, didn't you? A complaint. A lawsuit is totally different. I don't want to be waking up in the middle of the night over this. Miss Jackson. Mr. Ryan, this is a surprise. I'll get started on that research. Look, I just came by because I know you had a bad experience. But trust me, you know it wasn't personal. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't to them, but it sure as hell was to me. I know it can feel that way. Tell me something, Ryan, off the record. Does the department have a policy about racial profiling? Off the record or on the record, I don't believe the police department has any set policy on profiling. Why should this city be any different than any other city in this country? I'm not saying the officer wasn't a little overzealous, but if I heard right, there was a warrant. Oh, Ryan, please, you know better than that. You trying to tell me this has never happened to you? That's not the point. What I'm trying to say is... Has this ever happened to you, yes or no? Hell yes, it's happened to me. I'm a district attorney in the state of Alabama, and there are still areas where I don't travel alone. Hell, there are days when I'm not wearing this suit. People that I work with on a daily basis pass by me and don't even see me. I'm just another faceless black man. Does that answer your question? Yes. That's why I'm filing a lawsuit. My client. What client? 
a young man whose constitutional rights have been continually violated. Are you sure you want to file against the department? Somebody has to. If you do this, you make yourself an enemy of the police. Is that a threat? No, just so you know, off the record. Thanks for the advice. Clinton has stated that racial profiling is a morally indefensible, deeply corrosive practice. I would go even further to say that racial profiling is blatant racism disguised as crime fighting. To put it bluntly, all black people do not look alike, nor do we all act alike. There are ways of telling us apart, and yet the police department look no further than the color of a person's skin and suspect criminality. This violates the Fourth Amendment and the Fourteenth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, and we intend to take this action to its final and judicious conclusion. Final and judicious conclusion. That's good. That's, that's very good. What? Do I sense criticism? Believe it or not, no. I'm, d I'm glad you're doing something. I especially like the part where you say about how all y'all don't look alike. But? Why this kid? Why, why not your own case? Why not this kid? His rights have been violated. So were yours. But I can make a stronger case coming from a position of authority rather than a victim. But, but you are a victim. You were, you were humiliated and manhandled and, and abused. Oh, gee, thanks for reminding me. Oh, is that what this is? You're embarrassed? You're ashamed because I, I, I can understand that, but, but you can't be afraid. Fear's got nothing to do with it. When you're fighting these things, you participate according to your best capabilities. I'm a good lawyer, so I participate as a lawyer. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing at all. You know I pitched this idea to Glenn. See? That's how you can participate. He said it was nothing new. Really? So... What's new with the Clayton Falls stuff? Have you ever been attacked by a swarm of grasshoppers? I mean, these suckers almost turned my car over. It was absolutely biblical. Grasshoppers? Where were you? Hell if I know. We were supposed to be on a new road. Now, remember our agreement? One by life and no drinking cough, there's a problem. Hey. You ready? Sure. <laughs> 